Good morning, people. We are back with another reaction video to 102.7 blown off. Um, let's go see. No, we all know I, I how I am. I don't like the the in between the relationship. Like you're friends with benefits. My mother and sister do, but um, I'm not a friends with benefits kind of person. I don't really understand the concept. I really just think that it's a relationship that nobody wants to put a title on. So, you know. But anyway, this girl's been wondering why this guy has been ghosting her. Um, and she's be been together with him for like half a year. They haven't been dating, but like I said, they're friends with benefits. So they started out like for a half a year now. But he just up and dropped on the face of the earth. Um, she can't really... She has no idea what's wrong, what what's good. I don't like we we all we 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 all know that one. Um, it's good. She's like she's like really worried about him. She's worried that he actually just might have a girlfriend. So that's why he blew her off. So instead of it being like anything that really bad had happened in the relationship, because apparently they didn't fight or anything like that. So she's very concerned that, you know, maybe he just has a girlfriend and he just dropped off, you know, on the highway, on the side of the road to kick rocks. But let's see what's going to go down, what's really happening. What, what, let's see who's scratching that itch, right? Um, no. Okay, people who got kids. Now, I mean kids, like kids and fur babies and cat babies and they literally, everybody, what's cool, everybody that has a pet or, or an actual birth, what's cool, or, or an actual human child, they're all children, okay? And this man then said that he can't, he can't be with her because her house smells like dog. Now, I've never... I've never heard somebody getting pink eye um, because they just slept on the same pillow. But apparently, he has a huge problem, a huge one, with not only the house smelling like dog, but the dog sleeping in the bed. Now, I always say this because I know people who don't like dogs what's call it and, and they just can't be around them and whatnot and then I know people who are okay with dogs but they don't want them to get that personal and whatnot and then there are I know people who are absolute dog lovers okay like or it's called they treat them like family and I explained to everybody who is not the, I'm a dog lover okay I've, I've been through countless dogs I was a dog walker I help um what's called it teach some dogs and everything I'm still I'm still on wag and I still every now and then occasionally you know dog sit or take a dog for a walk or whatnot I don't have one so it's, per it's perfect because like I I can spend some time with a dog and I don't have to go to the store and get harassed by people looking at me like I'm not buying the damn dog and then I get a dog for like a half an hour or if I'm dog sitting I get him for a couple days and I give him back that's always like who's cool like my job is many I love kids I ain't, I don't have any that's good this is an absolute virgin solid tea here okay I don't have kids and I love them to death but I always want to be, you know, stable, absolutely stable before I bring my child in to the world. And so what's great about my job is I get to love kids and spend time with kids and, and practically be a stay-at-home mom and I get paid for it. And then I also get the kids back. That like, it, there's too many pluses. But um, anyway, if you don't own a dog, like, and I don't mean like you just got stuck Okay, because that takes even more time. But if you do not own a dog and you don't get a dog, and you don't, how should I put this? And you don't care enough about their well-being, then it'll, it'll just be a dog. And it won't really be part of the family. It'll just be the dog in the family, not, you know, the dog a part of the family. So, sleep. 
sleeping on on the bed and sleeping on the couch. People don't understand that when you had a fur baby, that means you treat them like family. That means you took care of your pet. So there is no need for anybody else to be concerned about your your fur baby. Okay, about your baby. Like I know people who got snakes and reptiles, and they sleep in the same bed too. Uh huh. They sleep in the same bed and everything. Understand something. When you love your animal, and, and don't forget, humans are animals too, okay? So we got like freaking human kids, and we got other types of animal kids. Understand that they still are kids. Like, we think of them as our kid, okay? Like, my mother, she got a dog, and he was called Amori, was the family dog. Ironically, so I still took care of him more than anybody else. The dog didn't even like me. Okay, he just relied on me, but he knew where to go to if he needed anything to come to me. He just got loved and cuddles on and then exhausted from what's going He got loved and cuddles from my mother, got exhausted with my sister, and if he needed anything, he got it from me. Okay, so he had the perfect trilogy of three worlds on him, but we took care of him. He was clean, he had clothes. What's called, he had pets, he had everything. And when we, what's called, you gotta understand, we take care of the family. Family take care of the family. So it's not a problem if the dog is sleeping on a bed. Okay? If you don't own a dog, you don't understand that. There are dog wipes. You can clean the paws just like your kids come into the home and they, you gotta wash their hands and whatnot whenever they get dirty. We got the same thing. Alright? So for this guy to, literally stay he got pink eye from laying in the same bed as a dog I don't, I don't think pink eye is contagious like that mind you the dog didn't even have pink eye he was the only one that got pink eye how the hell are you gonna blame it on the dog you the only one that got pink eye and you blamed it on the dog and then you just said well I'm not going back over there anymore mind you, you, you it wasn't even like you saw her somewhere else, and you did what's called. You said I didn't want to go to her place, and we can do something somewhere else. You just cut her off all the way, and with no explanation. Like it was like deserved. I don't. I don't understand that. Like if you got a problem with somebody, just say it. Well, why hold back? Can somebody like help me understand that? Like, definitely tell me, because I never can understand that. If you got a problem with somebody, then just say it, okay? So how the hell are the problems supposed to get fixed? You leaving is not fixing the problem, it's just you leaving. How the hell is that if fixing anything, okay? And for the fact of the matter that what's cut, that was, that was the only thing. That was, that was, I don't, I, I swear, people are so damn petty, okay? See, I'm petty when you do bullshit to me, okay? Because I'm a tick for tat kind of person. I'm petty like that. But y'all pettiness is unreasonable petty. Like, you really, what's called, this This is the type of uh, thing you need a reason to do. You There's no reason whatsoever why you couldn't come to her and was like, I don't think we can do this at the house anymore, at your house anymore. Do you think we can do it somewhere else? That's cool. It's just that your the, the smell of your dog is very overwhelming, and do you think we can just go somewhere else and do this? That's not a bad idea. No. What's cool? Now you getting now? What's cool? Everybody everybody knows a friends with benefit relationship means that they don't get seen outside. Okay, so basically. You didn't want anybody to know you had a friends with benefits relationship and you didn't want anybody to think that you guys were claiming each other. Okay, so you just wanted to be at her house. Why not yours? Oh, wait, do you have one? You know, it's, it's a quick question. This is not a dig or anything like that because, you know, a lot of guys, they just move from couch to couch, from place to place, from lady to lady. Okay. And they don't really have a home or a stable home, which is why they always go to the girl's house. You know? I don't understand it. I 
I'll never do that. But to each their own. This was stupid. This was stupid. You was cut. You guys weren't even in a relationship. So if it wasn't serious enough for you to bring her outside, if your relationship wasn't serious enough for you to bring her outside, then that means it shouldn't be that serious enough for you to actually be honest and tell her that the dog smell and you don't want the dog on the bed while you're there. That shouldn't have been hard. Like, people let me know, okay? I want I want dog lovers and non-dog lovers, okay? And I have, um, what's it called? I know um, some Asian people, and they really don't like it. Um, I think I've only met, like, two or three Asian people that are okay with the dog on the bed and, you know, whatnot. But just let me know. If you are not a dog lover, what is such a big deal about having the dog on the bed? And if you are a dog lover... Um, but you know somebody that don't like dogs, what do you do? What do you say to them? And because me, I can convince a lot of people of a lot of things. Okay, one of one of my best friends and my best and closest friends, she was terrified of dogs, absolutely terrified. She almost had a heart attack. And my it was like the first day I had like fully introduced myself. I'd seen her a couple times where in the complex that I lived in and she was um and, and she was my neighbor and she was um and on the other side of the building but she was terrified of dogs and I said congratulations you met me today and you're getting over your fear and now she owns one okay at first she couldn't understand any of the things that we were doing for our dog okay but now she has her own dog and she actually probably do more stuff for her dog than we did for ours Okay, so just let me know. Let's see how well that works out. And I hope you guys have an amazing day, okay? It's been, like, cold all week. And then today is supposed to be a little warmer, and then it's going to rain, like, mad dogs tomorrow. But have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.